Well, welcome to South Island School. My name's Tom Vignoles, I'm the principal here, and I'm so happy to have the opportunity to talk with you about our school and to show you the school. We have superb staff here, we have a wonderful set of students here who are so friendly, and we also have great facilities for so many different subject areas, and I'd love to have the opportunity to show them to you. Please follow me, let's go inside the school. So we're now in quite a typical classroom. We're in the Global Citizenship Department. Uh, you can see that from the international flags on the wall. Global Citizenship is actually one of our main mission areas along with sustainability. We really believe in students being educated to be global citizens. Uh, we feel that diversity, equality, inclusion are really important elements of what we must promote at South Island School. This classroom is very typical of our regular classrooms for many subjects like English, mathematics, other languages like French, Spanish, Chinese of course is a major subject here. We hope that this gives you a flavour of what a regular classroom will look like at South Island School. Well, we have so many different specialist facilities at South Island School. We really feel we've got something for everybody here. This is our textiles room. We've got the latest sewing machines that our students use for their textiles work. And we really believe in nurturing the students so that each student can really do whatever it is that they feel they are best at as a specialism. As well as textiles in our design faculty, we have our product design area for 3D design. Our food design department, this I have to say, my favourite type of marking in the entire school is what happens in this room here when we have to mark the students' cookery work. This is another of our very special facilities for our student learning, really equivalent to what you might perhaps expect to see at university level. This is our science department. We have special facilities for physics, for biology, for chemistry. Our students really have the opportunity to take their practical work to a very high level indeed. So we also have very specialised facilities for creative arts. As a musician myself, I play the guitar. Uh, this is one of the areas where I feel most at home in the music department. We have so many musical instruments for so many students to pursue their musical talents and there's something for everyone here. In our drama studios, we can do performances, great for rehearsals, and you can see that these are kitted out in a way that makes our students feel very comfortable with whatever they're doing. As well as the performing arts, we have visual arts. Uh, you can see that our art departments here, uh, we've got tables and desks where students can really lay out their work uh, depending on whatever medium they're using. And we also have the very high-tech media area where our students learn all about film, all about the workings of the media. And I have to say that some of the films the students produce each year really are truly outstanding. Well, this is an area where normally we have to be quite quiet. This is our learning resource centre, our library, and it's the place where independent creative study happens. As you know, inquiry-based learning within the IB is such an important part, and our students come here to collaborate, to be creative thinkers, and to carry out their research. In fact, this whole area was designed by students as part of a committee to make it both comfortable and functional for all of their needs. As you can see, this is our school hall, and this is used for all types of performance, for music, for drama, for our very special student-led events like our Diwali night, for our assemblies, again student-led, like our Chinese New Year assembly. Come up onto the stage with me. You okay there? Just imagine what it feels like to stand here and perform to the auditorium. Our students absolutely love it. They work together so wonderfully and collaboratively. So in another of our communal areas at South Island School, 
you know, the well-being of our students is so important. They learn hard, but it's so important for them to relax in any way they can. Yes, I got it in. That, that doesn't normally happen. Um, but there are so many ways we look after our well-being. Here's one of our vice principals, Miss Lucy Purvis, to talk more about how we look after our students. Hello, everybody. We want South Island to have well-being at the heart of everything we do. We want healthy people, places and processes. We want our students to flourish. But success at South Island is not just about academics. And to be successful, you need to relax. So this is one of our spaces where students can come and relax at break time, especially the younger students who absolutely love this area, which is called the space. They have games to play, they can collaborate, socialise and have fun. There's also performances here, assemblies, and if you're lucky, you might have some of your lessons in this space too. This is the atrium. Uh, it's a really popular social hub with the students. They can collaborate and socialise. Some lessons are in here. And at break time, as well as the refectory, students can also buy some tasty snacks. Here at South Island, we are well equipped with sports venues and facilities. Whether you're a swimmer, a basketball player, or keen hockey player, you'll find plenty of opportunities to get active. We're fortunate to have a sports hall where PE lessons take place as well as inter-house competitions, an astroturf for football and rugby, and a fantastic swimming pool where ESF swimming galas take place. Well, that's the end of the tour. It's been a great pleasure to show you around the school and we hope you've enjoyed seeing around. If you have any questions, please contact our admissions department and we very much hope to welcome you as a student at the school and as members of the South Island community before too long. Thank you. Thank you.